Oh, so all right. This is video number two on the topic of vitamin. And in this topic, when while writing the, uh, the classification of vitamin, so I just use this picture because I thought that it will be more easy to understand the classification of uh, uh, vitamin. In this picture, you will see a lot of the stuff is there, and this is all the stuff is all in in one picture. So this there are a lot of technical terms which are or you can see all of directory of the vitamin of the classification of vitamins are there so so you know i want you to take you to into the picture and understand the classification of vitamin at one place or at one picture this will make things easy or it will make you step into the picture and it will make you easy to understand the classification so now what question is that why we classify vitamins okay so we classify vitamins because they are classified on the basis of solubility of vitamin everything is start from the uh, solubility of vitamin vitamins are classified on the basis of their solubility so they are classified into two types number one type is known as water soluble vitamin and another type is known as fat soluble vitamin fat soluble vitamins are uh, further divided into two types and they are number one b complexes and not b complexes in non b complexes you see only one vitamin is present and that vitamin is known as vitamin c in B complexes, uh, if you get into the B complex vitamin, you will see that there are there are three episodes of B complex vitamins, and they all you need to know is to understand the difference between these three com the, these three. So number one is the energy releasing of B complex vitamin. The concept of energy releasing B complex vitamin is that they are required in the process of energies and they include number one B1, B2, B3 and biotin and pantothenic acid. So after understanding the energy uh, releasing B1, B complexes in other uh, honestly, another one class which is very important is is the hematopoietic uh, B complex vitamin. And these hematopoietic B complex vitamins they are required in order for the formation of blood or blood cells. And they include number one uh, vitamin B cell B12, and number two is folic acid. Folic acid is most very powerful, which is uh, required for the formation of blood. And number three. Uh, which comes under the B complex vitamins, they are others, and they include pyridoxine, and which is known as vitamin B6, and pyridoxal, and pyridoxine. So this is all about the B complex vitamins, which is uh, uh, which is uh, at one place, and you can understand completely. So another class of fat soluble vitamin, fat soluble vitamins is different from the fat of water soluble vitamin and fat soluble vitamins we have vitamin in, uh, we have vitamin a we have vitamin d we have vitamin k and we have vitamin e in vitamin a uh, chemical name of the vitamin a is retinol or beta carotene and chemical name of the vitamin d is cholic acid is all and uh, chemical name of vitamin K is phylloquinones or menaquinones and and the chemical name of vitamin E is tocopherol, right? So this is all of the information about the vitamin and classification of vitamin. So you can understand vitamins. So let's go more into the depth of the difference between the fat soluble vitamin and the water soluble vitamin. Which the thing which is very important about the fat water soluble vitamin is that they are uh, readily excreted from the urine and they are insoluble in water and they can be excreted out from the body very easily as they can be excreted out from the body very easily so the chances of toxicity is absent but deficiencies can occur very quickly and in order to uh, treat these deficiencies one must understand that he or she can take a vitamin every day. Now, what are the fat soluble vitamins? Fat soluble vitamins they are released, absorbed, and transport. The, they are transported with the dietary fats, and they are transported in one uh, 
chylomicrons form. The what are chylomicrons? Chylomicrons are actually globule-like structures which are composed of uh, triglyceride, cholesterol, and phospholipid and lipoproteins. And these lipoproteins are apolipoprotein B and A and C. So they are combined together to form one, one structure which is known as chylomicrons. So what chylomicron is doing? Chylomicron is doing what they what this is doing. Chylomicrons uh, will take and absorb the fat soluble vitamins with the help of dietary fats. These fat soluble vitamins are absorbed in tissue, uh, absorbing this small intestine, and they are transported into the tissues. Fat soluble vitamins are not readily excreted from the body as compared to the water soluble vitamin. Significant quantities are stored in the liver and adipose tissues. Adipose tissues, what are adipose tissues? You know that adipose tissues are the tissues where uh, fats are stored. So excessive consumption of vitamin A and D above the dietary level intake can accumulate in the body. So if you take excessive amount the and if you take excessive amount the vitamins, so that excessive amount the vitamins will not be beneficial for yourself and they can cause toxicity. So sit down. I would just recommend you to sit down and just uh, listen to this video and you'll see the information about the difference of vitamins and the classification of vitamins. Okay. Okay, so this is all about the classification of vitamin. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, see you in the next, le in the next lecture.